this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Paul Saladin Leonhardt and Johannes Essa. This very beautiful chess game was played in Scheveningen in 1905. And where is Scheveningen? Scheveningen is the modern seaside resort in the Netherlands. Okay, let's have a look at the game. Paul Saladin Leonhardt had white pieces and he started with e4. Essa played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, Spanish, knight to f6, black is going for a Berlin wall. Leonhardt castle the kingside, allowing black to capture the pawn on e4 and Essa did. d4, knight to d6, attacking the bishop on b5, bishop to a4, black to move. Essa played e4. e takes on d4 is a good alternative move. We have e4, knight to e5, black to move. Essa played the bishop to e7. He wants to castle quickly. Queen to f6 could be an interesting try. Perhaps the best move. In our game we have bishop to e7, knight to c3, Essa castled king side 2, f4, f6. Is this the best move? What is a good alternative move? Maybe knight to f5. In the game we have f6, attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? To take the knight? Knight to g4? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Paul Saladin first looked for checks and captures. He found a check. King to h8. Why to move? What is the best square for the knight now? Can't stay on e5. Knight to g6 was played. Check. The only move. Okay, maybe you guessed the knight sacrifice. But what now? Not every move is winning for white. In fact, white is losing in all variations except one. Can you find the best move for white? Please pause the video if you need. Did you find the queen to g4? Queen to g4 is not winning. If queen to g4, then knight to f5, queen to h3 check, knight to h6, f5, g5. And black would be winning. Interesting. So what is the best move? The best move is f5. Knight takes pawn on f5, your move. How would you continue if you had white pieces? The best move is to kill the knight before it reaches h6. In fact, black can't capture the rook. Essa played d5. If pawn takes rook, check mate. Long diagonal is controlled by bishop on b3. So Essa played d5, blocking the long diagonal, making the room for the king to go to g8. Bishop is now attacking the rook. Your move, how would you continue? 
Paul Leonhardt was very sharp. He played the best move every time. Rook to h5 check. King to g8. If pawn takes rook, queen takes pawn check, and after king to g8, bishop takes on d5 is winning. So we have a king to g8. White to move. This move is easy to guess. It's asking to be played. The move is rook takes on d5, attacking black queen and more. Saving the queen. White played a move and black resigned. The move is discovered check, winning the queen. Black resigned if king goes to h7, rook takes a queen. What a brilliant game. How many moves did you guess? Which move was the most difficult to find? And let's go back to these critical positions of the game. This is the first most interesting position. Did you find the knight sacrifice? And what about the next move? F5. Did you find this one? And then knight takes pawn. Did you find rook takes knight on f5? And then again the best move, rook to h5. And in this position it was easy to find the rook takes to d5. Paul Saladin Leonhardt was very precise with his attack, wasn't he? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.